Kieran Love from Santa Clara Events with Paul Talbot, Joshua, John. Josh, congratulations on the win and the another good performance tonight. Can you break it down for us, please? Yeah, it was a nice uh, little four rounder, you know. Um, yeah, I went, obviously I wanted more rounds, but I boxed two weeks ago, you know. Then I'm done 40 tickets. Uh, we bought 50, 50 tickets to Bristol, so I just wanted to pull a classy show on for everyone, and that's what I did. This fight was your third, third and final contest of 2022. Uh, it's been a busy year for yourself. You're looking to sort of uh, do the same next year now, and uh, remain busy and active for any opportunities. Yes, um, I, I believe I don't know if it's uh, right or not, but we might have a show in February, you know, and uh, obviously one before summer. Hopefully, one of them will be a title again, and hopefully, we come away with a win this time. You mentioned recently about potentially moving down to Super Bantamweight uh, in the near future, obviously boxing uh, for another title. Um, the Celtic Super Bantamweight title is currently vacant. Um, would you be sort of interested in boxing for that uh, in 2023? Yes, 100%. You know, we're, we're a million percent going down to Super Bantam and we're ready to fight any title for that. We are willing to go down to Bantamweight if possible, if um, the right fights and stuff are there. And you know, and I know um, it's a Bantamweight uh, British title. Um, happening in December against Sean McGoldrick and Scott Allen and you know if, if one whoever wins out of that I'd happily box anyone who I'm in a new year um, especially you know Sean or a Welsh fight I, I think oh, everyone wants to see her especially my lot you know um, he beat me in the amateurs and to be honest with you I think if we box for a British title if Sean wins in the future I think it'd be a class fight for Welsh boxing yeah, it's definitely a fight to look forward to if it can, uh, if it can happen. Uh, we pulled together another massive crowd tonight travelling down to Port Talbot. Uh, what does that kind of support mean to you? That support means that, um, you know, it's amazing. Uh, it's, it's just, you know, I'm, I'm speaking to us because we're a sport. It's class from Port Talbot. It's mad. Um, you know, we always allowed us. It doesn't matter how many or where we are. We're always allowed. And yeah, I appreciate everyone coming, especially today from Bristol. Two weeks notice. Spending all their money, you know. Yeah, spot on. Uh, lastly, Josh, uh, thanks for your time. Would you like to send a message to your fantastic sponsors and supporters? Yeah, all my sponsors. Um, you know, but you, you can't. Um, can you show them uh, all these? For you? It's loads to name. I will mention them in the interview. I will mention them in the interview um, when I tag it on Facebook. But yeah, thank you. None of this could be possible without any of you, and without any of my fans. You know, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Now to enjoy some quality time with my uh, friends and family. Cheers, Josh. All the best. Right, awesome. Thank you very much.